Till my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Hey guys, welcome back to the Moran family and good morning. Today's video is our morning routine and homeschool routine. If you guys are new here, my name is Brittany. I am a mom to three girls, Aurora, who is right here. She's two, Layla is my oldest, she's six, and then Everly, who is my angel baby. So like I said, today is going to be our morning routine and homeschool routine. At the moment, I am homeschooling Layla, who is in kindergarten. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do all of that today and then I'm gonna share with you guys our morning routine because homeschool is pretty much a part of our morning routine because after breakfast we kind of relax a little bit and then we get into all of our homeschool stuff. Hi baby, come on. Sleeping, you gotta be quiet. Yeah. Hungry? Yeah. Okay, let's brush our teeth and go potty first, okay? okay. Come on. Right now I'm standing in the corner. I see you from across the room. I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh Everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to We've got nothing to lose You're looking so old You're looking so old Now I'm moving closer to you you wanna do baby let me love you let me love you let me love you let me climb on the couch cover you with the blankie because it's cold oh god <laughs> your teeth are chattering okay you feel good right there okay let me put something on the tv for you Here you go, baby. I'll be right back, okay? You relax and watch your show while mommy goes and brushes her teeth, okay? Okay? There's your leche and your cereal, okay? Aurora is kind of calm over there on the couch. Layla isn't awake yet. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a cup of coffee. That way I can kind of drink it before it gets chaotic and we start our routine. So the way I like to drink my coffee is pretty simple. I just like this one from Dunkin' Donuts. It's their Colombian coffee. I think it tastes so good. And then for creamer, I like to just use the French vanilla creamer. And then I like to put a little bit of whipped cream in my coffee just to give it a little bit more flavor. But that's pretty much it. I'm pretty, oh, this needs more water. I'm pretty simple with my coffee. We're together, everything we do. You got me going on. So it's about 
8. Layla is still sleeping. Typically, I don't like to let her sleep in past 8.30 the latest just because I like to keep us girls on a pretty strict schedule. I like to start homeschool no later than 10 a.m. Homeschool normally takes about two hours, I want to say. That leaves us around like lunchtime and then Aurora can take her nap. So if we wake up late and then we start homeschool late, it kind of pushes back our whole day. And then if Aurora takes a nap too late, then she has a really hard time falling asleep for bedtime. So I like to keep us girls on a schedule. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking breakfast. I think today I'm gonna go ahead and make some eggs and some strawberries. What happened to us? What happened to all the love we always took for granted? Are we stranded? Is it too late? Is it too late to color feelings that have faded? Complicated. I'm waiting for an answer. Waiting for a sparkle to come. To ignite love. Hey. It's cooling down in the kitchen. I'm going to go grab it right now. For vitamins, I've been giving the girls these multivitamins. They're by the brand Ollie. They also have probiotics in it. So Aurora gets one of these and then Layla gets two since she's older. Two for you. And one for you. Two. Yeah. You know second chances on top. Now I already cleaned the kitchen, the girls are done with breakfast, so I like to let them play for about an hour before we start homeschool. That way they can get their energy out and they can really focus on their work. Like I said, I don't homeschool Aurora, but I do involve her in some things like when we're reading or I have her color. So while the girls are playing in the playroom, typically I just go sit on the couch and relax. I'll catch up on YouTube or I'll catch up on my shows. I don't really do too much when they're playing for that hour. That way we all have time to ourselves and we just feel we're fresh and ready to tackle our homeschool load for the day. Another thing too is typically I don't get ready every single day. So I'm not gonna put on makeup today. I'm not really gonna do my hair. I'm not gonna get dressed. We like to stay in PJs a lot of the time here. If I know we have something to do and we need to like run errands or it's hot outside and I can let the girls play outside, then I will get us dressed, but for today, we're just going to stay in, have a relaxing day. Oh, thank you. Is this for me? What is this? Coffee. Coffee. Ooh, coffee. Okay. It's mm, It's so good. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, a little bit more, please. Yes. What happened to we took for granted Are we stranded? I'm waiting for an answer Waiting for a sparkle to come To ignite love I need no second chances I'm tired of romances without love So where do we go when we can't find our way? I don't wanna be alone So what do we do when we're lost and deep? 
Bentley. It's school time. Come on. So this is our homeschool room. That's my desk. And then this one is Layla's. This room is far from done. As you guys can see, we need desk chairs. And then I plan on putting a bigger rug in here. And then this still needs to be organized. But this is what our homeschool room looks like for now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the computer so I can show you guys what Layla does for today. Here is Layla's entire schedule. So here is like everything for the full entire year. So today is Wednesday. So here is like everything that she has today. So she has reading, she has mazes, she has some workbooks in here, some puzzles in here. She has a little bit of everything. So the curriculum that Layla is doing is called Timber Doodle. I do have a video up on my channel if you guys wanna check that out. I will leave it linked down below. It's an unboxing of Layla's like full curriculum so you guys can see everything that she got in it. And then behind me is all of her stuff. So like I said, her curriculum is pretty hands-on since she is in kindergarten. So she has some puzzles, she has gears, she has little games, she has Mad Matter, she has like all of this stuff. She even has like painting stuff in here. And then here are her workbooks that she does. She has like math, science, geography. So like I said, Layla's curriculum is called Timber Doodle. And pretty much on the website, I just put in like her grade level and I put in like all of the holidays and stuff. And then on the website, it just completely generated everything for me. So it kind of broke down everything every single day for the full year. So I don't even have to like think about it. I don't really have to plan anything because it fully does it for me right here. So it tells me like how long um, she's supposed to be reading for, tells me how many pages she has every single day, how many puzzles she has every single day. So it's really, really nice. So let's go ahead and grab everything that we have for today and put it on your desk. So that way you can see what we have, okay? So the first thing is around the world mazes. And then we have developing the early learner. This one, we have geography, math, and the science book. And then you also have some puzzles, but we won't grab those yet. Go ahead and grab your pencil and your eraser, please. Okay. So today we're going to skip count by 10. We're going to write the numbers on the lines, then write the numbers in the spaces under the squares. Okay, so let's take out your blocks so that way I can help you better. So today we're skip counting by tens. Okay, so on this page, the squares are a little bit bigger than the blocks, so they don't really line up, but it is 10, okay? It is 10. So just cover it. Just pretend it covers completely, okay? Because the squares are a little bit bigger than the blocks. So that's 10. If you take another one and you add it down here, how many is that now? How many is that now? 20. 20, good. So you write 20 on the line. Counting by 10, so what number do you start at? 10. Good. What comes next? 20. Then? 3. Very good. Hey, that 3 is kind of good. Yeah, you wrote it really good. And then what comes after 30? So it's 10, mm -hmm. 20, mm -hmm. 30, 40. very good. And then what comes after? 50. Good. So it's 10, 10 20, 20, 30, 40, 40, 40. 50. <laughs> circle the sun. Do you know which one the sun is? Yes. Go ahead and circle it. 
And then you're going to need, you're going to need your crayons for this one. You need to color the sun orange. So color the sun orange. Which one is Earth? This one. Very good. So put a box. Yes, baby. You want a snack? Yeah. Okay, let's go get one real quick. So whenever Layla and I are doing school, Sometimes Aurora will come in there and she likes to listen to what I'm teaching for the day. Sometimes she'll sit down on the floor and she'll hang out with us. But today she kind of wants to be on her own so she's just watching some YouTube videos and then she's eating a snack. Sometimes, like I said, she'll join us in the room and I'll have her color or I'll have her play with Play-Doh, I'll have her do a puzzle. So every day is kind of different. So this one is Saturn. So Saturn is the one that has rings around it, right? And Jupiter is this big one that looks really cool. You see it? So you need to color Jupiter and Saturn. Let's see if we can find them on this page. Good. Saturn. That's Saturn. And which one is Jupiter? Good. So now let's move on to geography, okay? Let me just... Geography is my favorite. Really? Yeah. And then let me Does mark off do? science. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. They always do like you can make stuff like this. I made a volcano okay. last time. Ooh, you want to show them your volcano? Yeah. That's a cool one. Yeah. So today we're going to learn about Arctic animals. Do you remember what Arctic animals are? Mm -hmm. Arctic animals live in the snow. Does this animal live in the Arctic? Yes. So which one are you going to color? Yes. Good. Yes. What about the monkeys? Do they live in the Arctic? No. Yes. And what about the cheetah? No. What about the owl? Yeah. That lives in the Arctic. all the time in your music, right? <laughs> Let's think of some and make those sounds. What about the ticking of a clock? What does that sound like? What about the sound that windshield wipers on the car make? <laughs> have today are some puzzles. So you have the farmer. Yay. You have your Bugzel puzzle. Yeah. And then you have gears today. Yeah. Yeah. Can you move my phone please? Okay, so which one would you like to do first? Gears or puzzles? Gears. You want to do gears first? Um, can I do on the floor? Yes, you can go ahead and do it on the floor. Well, for this one, for Layla's gears, it's pretty simple and fun. So she just, she has like, it comes with like a bunch of pictures of different gears. So I just let her choose which one she wants to make. I'm this is the one she made yesterday and it's a camel. Yeah. So what are you going to make today, babe? Oh, there's a crocodile. This one. Mm -hmm. 
this one. Ooh, I'm I like make that one. The shark. You're gonna make the shark today? Yeah. Ooh, this one looks cool. Let me see. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. Might be the biggest gear you've ever made. So since it's connected, so the gears are connected, but this is connected to its mouth. So when you spin, what, what, what? So when you spin this, all mm -hmm. the this, this, and that, all the gears move. Yeah, all the gears move at the same time. So it makes that's the mouth so cool. Open. I think this one is my favorite one you've ever made. And it's the biggest one you've ever made. Yeah, look. That's it cool. It opens up all the way. Okay, well, we can save it. Can we actually put it on the table? We're going to put it all the way up here for now. What? Until Daddy gets home, and then we can pull it out, okay? That way it doesn't, that way it doesn't break, and we can show it. All right, let's clean up. Let's clean up this mess, girls. Let's this clean up the mess. This is? This was the hardest one. It took yeah, it took forever. I had to help her on it because it was a big one. Yeah. And then Layla still isn't Layla still isn't done with school, but I think I'm gonna have her do these later because we're kind of running behind today because that shark took forever. It's already past 12, so I gotta get the girls some lunch so it's no longer morning. But she has this one, so what she has to do right here is, I'll just show you guys the puzzles really quickly since we're gonna do them later. So there is like a card that she has to look at and then she has to match the picture on here. So it's just a matching puzzle game. For this one, the former one, it comes with a book. So basically you have to place the animals where it shows you in the picture and then you have to use the fence pieces to block off the animals different animals can't be in the same fence line so she has to kind of like figure it out all right guys well that is it for our homeschool morning routine i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the man family and make sure you guys hit that bell, that way you guys always get notified every single time we upload. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Come on! Bye guys!